What is going on, y'all? Psych Perspectives, Geo Fucks. And um, in this video, I want to talk about what's going on with Khalid and Hugo D. Alamante or El Monte. Um, and to me, this is why it's best to control your own narrative. Now, first things first. In a just world, people wouldn't have to come out the closet because people would just be able to exist as who they are, love who they love, be who they are, and nobody would care, right? In a just world, at least in my mind, in a just world. Um, but in reality, people are so infatuated with sex, sexuality, people's uh, genitalia, gender, that is such a big deal for a lot of people and people want to be in everybody's business. So, and on the flip side, like I said, to me, when you are engaging in these relationships with other people and you're bringing other people into your life, in my opinion, people do deserve to know the truth about you. They should know your sexuality. They should know your gender, your gender identity and how you get down. That's how I view things when you are bringing other people into the fold, when you are including other people into your life. At that point, you know, I think you should be upfront and honest about what you like and what you don't like and who you are and what you're not, right? Just have to get that on out the way. But we got our boy, Khalid, singer, artists, R&B, pop, does a little bit of everything. Um, and he had, now this is why I say X is messy. You know, X, aka Twitter, is extremely messy. I don't care what nobody says. It's just very toxic and dysfunctional. Why is a grown man coming out the woodwork outing another man and apparently, allegedly, the situation took place like four years ago. This isn't even relevant. But because Hugo, okay, who's the light skin, muscular, you know, fit guy, outed the singer Khalid and accused him. Well, he made it seem like Khalid accused him of breaking into his house, Khalid's house. Mind you, this incident took place four years ago. So why are you waiting four years to bring it up? Like, why? What was the what was the point? Are you trying to stay relevant? And no offense, but I'm gonna go on and say this. I re I re I respect sex work. I respect sex workers. You know what I'm saying? Adult entertainers, escorts, what have you. And at the same time. One has to question the longevity of these types of careers, okay? Because are you going to be able to be an escort, a sex worker at 60, 70, 80, 90? Hell, at 40, 50? Like, we have to be real here. You know, where's the longevity? At some point, you need to actually diversify your career, diversify your experience and go into a different field. I'm just going to be real. I don't really see sex work as something that is longevity. Um, and also, arguably, when you see a lot of people who work in sex work, it's not out of, it's not, it seems like a lot of times, from my opinion, from my perspective, what I've seen is a lot of times people are not doing it out of free will, but they're doing it out of necessity. Like they don't have any other ways of making money or they or they do have other ways of making money, but let's be real, sex sells and they can make a hell of a lot more doing this than working a regular nine to five. Because arguably, most of the people that I see doing it, it's either out of survival or because they're trying to make the most amount of money they can in the most quick way or fashion, okay? So Hugo is a singer as well, but he's not like, he's not well-known, he's not popular. Um, 
And I wouldn't even say that he's like, un he's underground, but I haven't even heard much of Hugo because when I see Hugo, it's about him being half naked, showing off his body, showing off his curls, his curly hair. You know, it's not really about him, you know, singing. It's about him looking, you know, being the quote unquote conventionally attractive guy that's on X slash Twitter, sharing nudes, sharing his OnlyFans link. So again, if you're trying to be known for your music, then maybe you shouldn't be focusing so much on your sex work. Because again, you don't even promote your music. Instead, we're going to see your OnlyFans link being shared. We're going to see half naked pictures of you being shared or fully naked nudes of you being shared or, you know, pornographic video, but we're not going to see your music, your songs, your album, your EP. I'm just being real. Like, so, but anyways, you out this man four years after the fact, y'all haven't talked to each other. Y'all haven't dealt with each other in four years, damn near half a decade. So why are you bringing this up this past weekend on X on Twitter? What was the purpose? And then what I don't be understanding, and I'm going to say this, to all of the gay queer men, y'all willingly get with men that are quote unquote straight, heterosexual, and or in relationships with other people, whether it's a man, woman, whoever, and or you know the person isn't out or they're on the DL or they're very discreet about their sexuality. Y'all willingly get with these people. So you're not a victim in that situation. Y'all be knowing niggas have wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, fiancés, in a whole ass relationship. Y'all be knowing this and y'all still be sitting up. Oh, that's okay. I'm only here for the dick or the ass anyways, whatever. It's just about sex. But if it's just about sex and you don't care and it's not that big of a deal, why are you trying to out somebody or out somebody? And then more importantly, why are you bringing up something that's damn near half a decade old? Apparently you're in your feelings. Something is bothering you. Something matters. Okay. Because who does that? And what I don't understand is why is it when y'all decide to out these people or y'all have a falling out, whatever it may be, why is it all of a sudden they're ugly? Oh, he's ugly anyways. He's not my type. Then why were you with them? What was your purpose to be over there? They're not your type. They're ugly. They're not attractive to you. Yet you were over there having sex, engaging with them, spending time with them. And more importantly, if none of this matters and the person is ugly and you don't care, why are you telling us half a decade later, damn near four years later? What are you doing? What are you getting out of that? Please enlighten us. And like I said, obviously they wasn't that ugly because you went over there and you was with them. And this also goes back also to um, the, the politics of looks. You know, when we talk about people being conventionally attractive, light skin privilege. And if you notice, Hugo, Hugo, Hugo D. Almonte has a history of of getting with darker complected black men. And then when things don't go his way or they don't work out, then he's dragging them for filth. He's talking shit about them. He's talking about how they're ugly or in this case, trying to out Khalid, even though Khalid clearly was like, well, first of all, I've never been in the closet. And that's another thing that is so true. A lot of times people are not in the closet. They're just not walking around telling everybody I'm gay. I'm trans, I'm intersex, I'm lesbian, I'm bisexual because it's not anybody's business. On an everyday conversation, I don't need to know who you sleep with. Just like, and this is what gets me about the cis head, because you know I'm about to go there. Y'all will sit up and say gay people or people in the LGBTQ plus or the trans folks make our sexuality or our gender, our identity, our personality. Everything is about your sexuality, everything is about your gender. When then when people are not like that, like Khalid, then it's, oh, well, you need to come out the closet. You should be up front. First of all, Khalid was never in the closet. He just wasn't sitting up here with a rainbow dancing around every 20, every uh, 10 seconds, letting everybody know he's gay or he's queer. 
He didn't have to. Straight people aren't walking around telling you that they're straight every five seconds. Cisgender people aren't walking around telling you that they're cis every five seconds. So why do you expect LGBTQ plus people to do the same thing? That's something else that I wanted to bring up because I'm like, he was never in the closet. We just assumed because he wasn't telling everybody and he didn't have to tell everybody. But okay. Again, this dude is light skinned and everybody's sitting up. Oh, well, damn, they out in the girls. The girls is out in folks now. And mind you, this was, at, mind you, a couple of weeks ago, there was a lot of people being outed that were, who voted for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance and the Republican Party, but yet sitting up in everybody inboxes and DMs trying to get on, but yet supporting people that are blatantly homophobic, transphobic, biphobic, misogynistic, racist, you name it. And here's the thing. If y'all remember back in July, Grinder literally ended up like glitching out during the Republican National Convention. <laughs> in their area because so many people were on grinder on the server trying to hook up and these are the same people that are calling folks the f word the t word you know they're very homophobic transphobic biphobic in public but then behind closed doors it's like a whole nother you know and that's typically who it is you will see a trump supporter in your inbox on grinder in a minute okay or you'll see somebody transphobic as hell in your in your inbox in a minute it's crazy but I'm just pointing this all out to say, you know, people are outing folks. So again, if you are so concerned about people finding out the truth about you, I suggest you stop living a double life or, or really be conscientious of the people that you do share that information with or whoever you do decide to hook up with. Because people are going, to, uh, as time goes on, the, 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 the protection that has been given to people who are on the DL is literally being kind of blown out. And arguably, I have a lot of mixed feelings with that because on one side, I don't feel bad when men who are blatantly in a whole ass fake heterosexual relationship, lying and cheating, and let's be real, bringing diseases back and forth, right? Because a lot of you cis males are the least... I'm just going to call a thing a thing. A lot of you cis males are the least to get tested. And when we break down the cis male groups into subgroups, yo, cis het male definitely is not getting tested using condoms and thinking anything about that. So, you know, so on one side, yeah, niggas need to be outed. They need to be exposed for the bullshit that they're putting on to other people's lives. You lying, you cheating, and you putting people's health and mental and physical health at risk. And at the same time, it is none of our, we should not be exposing people. It's not our, it's not our life or will, in my opinion, to be sitting up telling somebody else's business. You know what I'm saying? So I have a lot of different opinions on it. I got a lot of nuances on it. And at the same time, in the day of social media, if you don't want people to know about things, then you need to learn how to keep shit to yourself. Or be very, 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 very careful about who you engage with. Because you never know, like this situation, somebody might come back on you four years down the road to try to make a mockery and embarrass you. I'm glad that uh, Khalid is taking it, seems to be taking it very well. He's not like, you know, tripping about it as much as you as some would have thought or, you know, expected him to trip out. He didn't do all of that. But, hey, like I said, niggas gonna be niggas. And also, to the dark-skinned black men, and just in general, this is, and I'm, that's gonna be a whole nother video, but what is the fascination with these light-skinned men, you know, or the biracial, or the multiracial, or the racially ambiguous men, you know, curly hair, the light colored eyes, the light skin, that is still something that people put on a pedestal as being the most attractive. And then y'all get with these types just for them to turn around and dog y'all out, try to out you, try to embarrass you, treat you like shit, treat you dirty, don't meet your needs. 
But then people that are quote unquote dark skin, brown skin, okay, I'm going there, don't have the loose curly hair texture, don't have the light colored eyes, aren't walking around with a six pack sculpted physique, right? Uh, uh, they're not cis, they're trans, they're intersex, etc. You don't want to give anybody, you don't give any of us the time of day. But y'all go and get with the so-called preference that don't really like you, that doesn't even see you as attractive, supposedly, and is likely using you, right? And treating you like shit. And then y'all don't have the same, y'all don't have the same standards for the conventionally attractive people. You don't. You let them get away with all kinds of shit, but then you'll turn around and tell somebody that's not conventionally attractive that they got to have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, O, Q, R, S, W, X, and Y, and C just to talk to you. But then you'll sit up and settle with the asshole that don't really give a fuck about you. So that's something that really needs to be talked about. But anyways, that's a whole nother video. The point is, um, I'm happy for Kelly. You know, you out? Are you comfortable? or whatever, do you, but be careful with who you engage with, because this is a prime example of these niggas be looking for meal tickets, I've been saying this for the longest, oh, you're being bitter, you're judgmental, you're mean, no, a lot of these niggas, a lot of these bio, biological male, cis males are users, they're looking for meal tickets, they're looking for somebody that's going to take care of them, somebody that's going to baby them, that's exactly what the hell we see on a consistent basis. And then they sit up here, whether it's with women, men, intersex, trans, non-binary, whoever it is, they do treat them the same exact way, trash them, disrespect them, embarrass them, use them up, and then they bounce onto the next person. And then when we bring it up, oh, that's not all of us. That's Once again, it was a cis male that screwed over another cis male here. It just needs to be like they do this shit with everybody. And then everybody is sitting up. This is why I said you. And then you wonder why they get treated like the hoes that they get treated like, because these are the same types. The, the Hugos are the same types that'll talk about how everybody's only talking to me for sex. People only want me because of my body. That's the only thing you're providing. You're not trying to be in a real relationship. You don't, you're not even attracted to the people that you're getting with. You're using them. And then you're mad that they're using you back? Like, what else are you providing? You're just providing ass, dick, sex, and looks. Because we pretty much know you ain't got nothing else going on for you. But yet, we're all ugly. Khaled, Khalid's ugly. Yet you were with the person. And again, if none of this matters... And he's ugly anyway. Why are you telling us this on Twitter, on X, four years later, damn near half a decade later? Why? Why? So I said, people be bothered and then they be trying to make it seem like they're not bothered. But if you're unbothered, it doesn't matter. They're not attractive. They're ugly. They're this, they're that. You're not going to be talking about it. You're not going to be wasting your time on that situation. You're just going to move on forward and keep doing you. And again, I personally am not trying to waste all this time talking to somebody that I don't find attractive. So to me, it's just wild to me because it's like y'all willingly get with people that aren't your types, that don't meet your standards, that, you know, whatever. And then you, when things don't go your way, now you're outing them. You're trying to disrespect them. You're trying to bl child. And remember... Y'all will sit up and say, this is what women do. Women are, fem this is what feminine people do. This is what women do. And oftentimes, in my experience, this is what biological cisgendered males do on a consistent basis. Okay, they, they are the bitches they complain about. They are the hoes they complain about. It's a bunch of projection. And that's why I'm like, oh, okay. And like I said, a lot of you gay niggas will willingly get with niggas that's not out the closet, that's on the DL, that's on the discreet. Y'all be knowing they got wives, 
husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, partners, kids. You be knowing the whole nine yards and y'all be going right along with it and then want somebody to give you some damn sympathy. You are just as corrupt as the person that you're with. Ain't nobody finna be sitting up feeling bad for you hoes. And that's real. What, what you thought Khaled, Khalid was going to give you a record deal, was going to push your music, your art, was going to pay for your studio time. What did you think was going to happen here? What happened? Give us the full backstory since you, since you, you know, telling us all this shit late night on X, Twitter. I saw this live time because I'd be on there, you know, looking at shit and I'm like, wow. And so many people have different thank pieces on it. But anyways, I got a appointment to do on my break I'm about to start this appointment information is in the description box below let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think audi 